All right, example two. So last one we just did was talking about your cell phone and how those are working and how people really use that in real life. Actually, you kind of tell like ahead of time of who's going to actually pay how much and everything. So now let's go into another part that's going to be your aspect of your life. When you graduate and get out into the real world and you actually start making all this money, like the, the five figures, six figures, the more than that. If you make the five, uh, four figures, of, oh, sorry, the five figures or four figures, something like that, whatever you're making, taxes are going to come out. That they're going to they're going to happen. So with that, um, here's this talk about it. Let's just go for this and see like, OK, how is this going to really affect you in the future? So a certain county has a tax code where 10 percent tax is paid on all income up to the first ten thousand dollars. So a 15 percent tax is paid for an income that's over ten thousand and up to twenty five thousand. And a tax rate of 25% is paid on all income over 25,000. So that's like 25,000 and one um, when it comes to the other one. Yeah, pretty much. We're going to find the piecewise function to calculate the total tax of, on uh, income of X dollars. So we say X is dollars. So we are Mac, we know that already. So that part tells us right there. That's what X is going to be for this problem. So we're good. So we're trying to find the piecewise function. So we're creating a piecewise function again. Again, when it comes to our, no our notes, that's the title of it. So real life stuff, real life stuff, guys. So you'll be take paying taxes and everything as we go as you go through life and as you're growing up and you have your your wonderful time and family and all that stuff. All right. So here's the info that we have. We know first off we pay ten percent. tax, sorry, um, for up to, uh, up to, sorry, up to $10,000. Okay, the next one says, okay, we pay 15% tax. For income over ten thousand, so over, so ten thousand and one, ten thousand dollars and one, ten thousand and one dollars, sorry, and up to twenty five thousand dollars. So between ten thousand and twenty five thousand. Okay, so that part right there. So we have another one. So here's our third part. It says 25% tax when it comes to over getting over $25,000. Now, as we're going through this and we're doing it, remember, it depends on where you're living, depends on like what the tax brackets are and everything. So one place could actually have higher, some places have lower. Um, but also with this, just know that when it comes to like the elections, all stuff that's coming up or things that are just happening in, in life. Um, when it comes to taxes, people keep saying that the, um, the wealthy don't pay enough taxes and blah, 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 blah. They actually have like the highest tax um amount that they have to pay out they're, they're paying more than what we're supposed to be paying when it comes to percentage wise but they have those loopholes and they have those different areas where they can actually like save money or they can actually give and then on the taxes they can save money at the end and all that good stuff um one other quick thing too when it comes to like your income taxes at the very end the, at the beginning of the year you have to pay those or you have to actually do them um sometimes you might get a return sometimes you won't get a return you have to pay um, if you get a return, that means that they taxed you too much during the year. So at some months, there might be some that were higher than others, and therefore you just tax too much throughout the year. If that happens, that means if you get taxed too much, like these tax brackets, you might have jumped up in one tax bracket because you got extra pay for something, and then it takes you back down to the other tax bracket for the next month. When they start looking at all that stuff and they add it all up, they realize, okay, you had too much money or we taxed you too much, and they give you money. If they say, okay, we didn't tax you enough, because something happened weird and we didn't tax you enough, that's when they say you have to you owe the IRS money. And so hopefully you never have to owe the IRS money. Or if it is, it's only like a little bit amount.
because we only pay like a little bit amount each each year. So with that, before we actually move into creating the equations, we say, okay, X is going to be the amount of money. And that's what we said up top. X was the amount of money. That's what the problem said right there. X dollars, dollar list. All right, so here, that's what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and create these equations. All right, so with this, we know it's going to be 10% of however much money you're making. But this says it's up to $10,000. The next one says it's over $10,000. That's what the problem says. It says over $10,000. So that means with this part, we're going to say X is going to be less than or equal to $10,000. Now, we say equal to, less than or equal to, because if it's just less than $10,000, that means at $10,000, you don't get, have to pay taxes. <laughs> the IRS is not going to do that. The government is not going to do that. They want your money. So they're going to actually, um, we have to put the equal to sign there because this part right here works for that first tax bracket. So we're going to say, okay, it's equal to. The next one says over 10,000, so that means the $10,001. That's for the second part. So here, we're going to do it in black also. The second part here is we pay 15% sales tax, well, 15% tax on however much money you have. But this one is actually between $10,000. And 25,000. Now, with this again, it's equal to for the first one, so this is less, just a less than sign. Now, for the second one here, if you go back over to the top again with the words, it says for the last one, over 25,000. So that means that's $25,001. So that means here we have to set it equal to 25,000 so that it pulls it into that tax bracket. All right, and then the last one, we have f of x equals the 25, 25%, sorry, times how much, ever much money you make, which is x. All right. And so here, that's when we have numbers that are over $25,000. So anything that's bigger than $25,000. All right, so with that, we have our three functions. So let's go ahead and make this into um, the piecewise function real quick, and then we're done, guys. And so see, this is not really hard, but this is like real life stuff. This is like what we're dealing with, what you're going to have to deal with when you get out in the real world and actually have to deal with your own money and not look at your, what your parents are giving you or helping you out with what you have to actually pay yourself. And sometimes when you look at your paycheck, you're like, what happened to all my money? <laughs> And it's because the tax bracket you're in. So if you're making a lot of money, they're taking out a lot of money. You're making a little bit of money, they still take out a lot of money, but it just looks like a lot more because it's a small amount. All right, so we're putting this last point in. All right, and that's your piecewise function. Look at that. Easy, man.